<clears throat> I'm back in my laboratory and I was looking around for things to nap. What can I destroy with the hammer stones? And the only thing I wanted to do, wanted to destroy this morning is this nasty nodule. Nasty no good nodule. The triple N. The triple N of death. Alright, so where's my oh I don't I did not bring my big hammer stone. Dang it. Oh well. I'm gonna have to use a little one. See with a bigger hammer stone I can knock off some big spalls, but I might be able to do it with this. I don't feel like restarting the restarting the video. This is Crafty's laboratory. Why is it a laboratory? Because I'm always trying to experiment. Oh yes. Why is this nasty? Because it's got defects, as you can see. And where do the defects appear when you're napping? Everybody in unison? Exactly where you don't want them to appear. <laughs> that's where they appear. So that's why it's nasty. Can I make tools out of this? Well, hopefully yes. And I was looking at my wood splitting tools and woodworking tools. And I figured out, this is my favorite right here, this, this shape, all right? Because it's got multiple uses. Yes, I was using it as a wedge, but there's like three other uses, right? I can use it as a chisel. It just needs to be a little bit longer. It's not too bad right now, maybe a little bit longer so that when I resharpen it, it won't, it won't be too bad. Chisel. Ch -ch -ch wedge but also I can mount it to a haft this way and it's an adds okay it, this this part's going to be backed up against the wood it's not going to be the smaller part backed up against the wood in the adds uh, and usually you know this taper helps to you know drive in this part of the adds so it cr creates resistance to being hammered right but the, I'm going to use the resistance of a wood carved wood backing so the, the carved wood backing the adds handle looks like this this is the handle here this is the head of the adds it's got a piece sticking out there like a branch or whatever you mount it like this you wrap it around and this could be long all the way almost to the tip you wrap it around and this backs up uh, the rear of the ads so it won't slip backwards when you're chopping and it can be a chopper this way I can chop little things with it if I make a bunch of these I can use them for different things and flip it upside down hold it like this and what is this used for this is used for smashing arrowheads that break into little tiny pieces yeah I'm so excited. Oh yes. I just need to make... I need to get good at making this shape. Oh yes. And uh, I, I could probably live with that length. Let's see. It's not too bad. Alright, let's see. It's almost right at 4 inches. Okay. Right? Yeah, it's four, almost four and a quarter. Yeah, if I do it like four and a half. Yeah, four and a half would be just right, I think. I think I can get four and a half inches or four inch pieces fairly easily, although he's pushing it. It's pushing it. Yeah, but see, yeah, four inches is about the maximum that you can get stuff for cheap. Like I don't have to buy really expensive rocks or I don't have to go look around for 
a lot of stuff and I might be able to make one of these out of quartzite. If I can make one out of quartzite, I can make 20. Oh yes, and there's argillite here too. If I can make these successfully out of argillite and maybe start grinding some of these. <laughs> yes, indeed. I think I like it. I picked out that my favorite tool, other than my little chopping axe type thing, is this one here. I think I like this even better because it's more versatile. Okay. I got to save that and not lose it. All right. So here we go. Back to the messing with the hammer stone stuff. Back to the torture. Oh, gosh. I really need that other hammer stone. I don't have it. Nope. Oh, well. I'm going to pretend I'm back in the day. And I went to go explore for rocks. And I forgot to bring my big hammer stone. So now I'm out there two days away. And I thought I had my big hammer stone because it was so heavy. My kit was so heavy. And it, I didn't have it. So here I am. I'm at the quarry. I don't have my big hammer stone. And there's nothing else around. Okay. Oh, sweet. Now, I can make little axe heads, or little adds, little adzes out of this kind of stuff, right? If I start exploring how to make adzes, and I've had several people, which is more than four, right? Or more than three? Yes. I've had several people ask me about adzes, and I think I know why. It's because, it's, you know, you can make cool stuff. For the ads is you can make little ads heads ads heads yeah they're just called ads is dude they're not called ads heads dude they're just ads is <laughs> okay ads is what am I doing here I'm just battering the edge a little bit to get it undelicatized to remove the delicate parts see but a lot of this now is concave so I got to make it convex convexity is the secret to happiness in flint napping what's the secret to happiness in flint napping convexity oh yes Yeah, but it's hard to remember that, dude. It's hard to remember. Convexity. But you get it confused with concavity. Well, cavities in your teeth are bad, so concavity. You just associate it with something bad. How's that? Everything needs to be convex when you're flint napping. Pretty much. Yeah, what about flutes, dude? They're concave. They're not bad. They're, like, awesome. You said it yourself. Like a f Clovis without a flute is like soda without fizz. So concavity is not bad. <laughs> no, I didn't say it was bad. I just said it's easier to remember because you want everything convex. So if you think of concavities as bad in terms of not helping you very much when you're flint napping, you can just think of cavities in your teeth as being bad that's all that's all no don't get all uppity uppity in my face you can't use the word uppity these days dude these days you can't use the word uppity it means something else <laughs> it seems like everything these days means something else everything means something else Who is messing with the meanings is what I'm asking. Who is it? Who's messing with the meanings? Who is it? All right, here we go. I'm going to have to swing fast for these. Try to get a good, good spalls. 
Now, what, why is this nasty stuff? It seems to be flaking really good, you guys out there. Because it uh, varies. There's some concrete and and uh, fairly good stuff. This is raw, of course, right? Although you can heat spalls this big, it is possible some of you guys out there do it and then you go, it's not a problem. It's not a problem at all, man. No, what you're talking about. You don't have to heat flakes. You can heat the whole dang big old stone. Okay, fine. These flakes are, are uh, coming off really nice, right? Because I, I really can't smack it hard enough to easily remove a very large flake. So I'll settle for little ones. Now, can I make a tool out of this? I'm just going to hammer stone in and see what happens. I don't care. I don't care if I can make a tool out of it or not. As long as I can get good spalls like I've been getting, it's okay. Hit that twice. One good spall. I don't know. Now that I'm going to get into woodworking, I can use a lot of this stuff for just, just by itself, just utilized flakes. I can already see the uses. Same thing as if I was getting into butchering, you know. Show butchering on my videos, on my channel. That I hesitate to do because the, I'm using animals. I'm using meat. I don't want to be wasting any meat. Because with my luck... Oops, a tip broke off. Wait a second. Where is it? I looked through all the meat. I can't find the meat. I can't find the tip in the meat. Oh, what do I do? Can't throw it away. I can't throw it away. I got to eat the point that's in the meat. And hopefully everything will come out okay. <laughs> Pun intended. All right. So that's why I haven't done it. All truth be told... I'm worried about eating the chips. Oh, yes. And, of course, I don't want to be wasting any meat because it's from an animal. Believe it or not, I love animals, and not just because they're yummy. No, no, no. That's not the only reason. Okay. Yeah, come on. I gotta get. I got to start getting some bigger spalls. Not like that. What is it? What is up? Why does it break? Yes, I'll be better prepared for the next video, but I gotta do everything within five seconds. Or I'll never do it. If it takes me all day to, to set up for the video, I'll say, I gotta do something else. I can't be wasting time with this. Ooh, that's a big old nasty area. Ooh, there's a a little crystal pocket in there too. Oh yeah. Ooh, that that won't hurt at all when you're flint napping. Ah, no big deal. <laughs> I wish I had big nodules like this. I would die for them. <gasps> Look how big that is and how big it was. I can't believe it. <laughs> can't believe it. Now, sometimes you, you know, you wish you had big nodules, but they're usually torture. Oh, yes. So don't worry. If all you got is little things, you're not, a, you're, it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. You got little pieces of gravel like this big or maybe a little bit bigger and that's the biggest you can get. Don't worry. The little ones actually flint nap better. Of course, you're not, going to, you're not going to get more than just a little hunting point out of it. But it's still good enough. Don't worry. Yeah. See, this looks like it might be a really good big spall. But it's got issues. You know what I mean? It's got mental health issues. It doesn't cooperate with you. Just like everybody else with mental health issues. They're not cooperative. All right? I can make ads out of that. I can even do some little fine woodworking. That edge is so sweet. Oh, yes. 
I'm excited about getting into woodworking on the channel because there's a lot of possibility to do testing on wood that is, for one, humane. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying it out on animals. And two, I like woodworking. Oh, yes, yes. I do like it. I like it better than hunting, that's for sure. Although I do like hunting as well. My interests, making stuff, then camping. I love being out camping. Just the act of building the fire, building the little campsite, clearing the area, making sure everything is in its place, looking at nature, listening to the sounds, going and setting up my fishing tackle or whatever I'm going to do. And do the campsite stuff. I love the campsite stuff. Even the mundane stuff like clearing out the area of all the flammables and setting up the fire pit. Yada, yada, yada. Making sure I'm in a dry spot. I like all that stuff. Third, let's see, what is the third thing? Mm, I guess, you know, making stuff is number one, number two is third thing. I like hunting and fishing, right? But I think I like fishing better than hunting. I'd put the hunting at the bottom. So the four things, um, there's actually five, right? Because I get to explore and look around and find stuff. So that would be in there too somewhere. But anyway, I put fishing before hunting. I probably put hunting on the bottom of the list of my interests, although I like hunting. And that includes trapping, right? Trapping is a huge part of catching animals. People really don't get into it very much on the primitive skills. But anyway, hunting will be, is since it's the last on the list, I won't be doing any of it, probably, on this channel at all. Although, the people who watch videos like this, the first thing they look for, they type in hunting. Primitive hunt, or whatever, hunting. So you're not going to find it on this channel, which is going to be a bummer to lots of people. I'm going to do everything else first. Camping, or setting up campsite. But first, making stuff. I can set up campsites now. I can actually go down... 20 minutes away, set up a little campsite, do some filming, which I am going to do. I just got to take the Lyme disease precautions. I'll be doing a lot more filming in the fall. Now that I've explored the area and I know where everything is, I know where to go. I'll be going places in the fall where the ticks are not active. And it's still not really, really cold before the snow falls after the frost but before the snow accumulates i'm gonna go film but i'm also gonna film in the summer a little bit turn the park into my studio i was just down there today i said man in the middle of the day it's about noon or somewhere near there I guess it was beautiful down there. Oh, yes. Yeah, there's some people walking around, enjoying the sights and all that. But it's so quiet that it's unbelievable. I'm not used to so much quiet, especially with all the kids living in town with all the ambulances going by, the helicopters going overhead, the airplanes from the international airport. Yeah, I lived in a smallish kind of town, but they still had an international airport. Why? Because of the oil business. Oil. Oil business. Anyway, they don't have the oil business out here. They got artists. This is an artsy fartsy place. That's what I got up here, so they don't make noise. Artists don't make noise as far as I know. Right? I haven't met a noisy artist yet. I'm not talking about music. There's a different kind of artist. Those are noisy. No, I'm talking about the ones that sit there and photograph and paint and paint and photograph and arrange and 
get someone to pose or whatever. No noises. It's wonderful. One thing that I didn't like about my original videos, so much background noise. Too much background noises. Yeah. Too much background noise. I don't know what I'm going to do with this last piece. I'm just goofing around with it. Yeah. With something this gnarly, it's best to use a very precise technique. It's got cracks all in it in different areas. And to work around them requires a little bit of forethought like I had to I had to lose that even though it kind of hurt usually the flint or the chert just below the cortex is nice and this is no exception this stuff is nicer than this stuff although it's all pretty good if it's not cracked so I can get a lot more out of this if I use metal you know what I'm saying using the hammer stone yeah I can be gentle See how many minutes I got left. I can be gentle and try to peel off flakes in a nice manner. It just doesn't like to cooperate. I got a larger surface area when I'm using the hammer stone. On average, as I go down to a smaller hammerstone, but this is raw chert, as you know. To get it to flake, I've got to hit it pretty hard, and that's what's what's difficult is controlling the the precision while you are striking fast. And sometimes I forget to align the hammerstone properly. To the workpiece. I'm hitting that just right and it's not going. Anyway, and that's another thing too. The predictability is not there. Now, how do these guys with hammer stones make such beautiful pieces and do such beautiful flakes? Well, a lot of times they're using beautiful material. Right? They don't use material with issues because that wouldn't be a very good know what you're doing type of video if the uh, if the material is going to make you mess up that doesn't make a very good I know what I'm doing video it could make you look foolish me I don't care if it makes me look foolish Ooh, that was a good that was a good flake if I do say so myself. Yeah, it's kind of like a preferential level. No, I don't know what you call that, but that's a definitely a thinning flake. Yeah, now I now I can see what I can work with. Now, see, that's a that is a very consistent platform no bumps no no nothing it's just very smooth very at a very good angle it's almost a 90 right there but to the center line this is like a 45 or something so we're talking about two different angles this side is convex right and co compared to this platform angle it's almost a 90 it's probably like Probably, probably like at 80 degrees but if you look at the center line of the piece it's much steeper than that half of that right mathematically it would be half so 45 or 40 so yeah that's what you want obviously because it worked pretty well and you know it worked out to where it was sticking out a little bit there wasn't the you know, it wasn't a prepared sticking out platform. It was just the edge. So it worked out okay. Now to do the rest of this requires some very careful 
hammer stoning if I want to continue with hammer stone if I want to bedazzle you with my hammer stone skills skills with a Z is that how everyone spells these things these days I don't know let's see If I work on this with a hammer stone, you guys know the deal, right? With hammer stones about the conservation of material. Um, hammer stones require robust edges and they usually bite into the edge a little bit more than a, a metal bopper or billet, right? But it, it can be about the same. I use a more narrow part of the hammer stone to get more precise hits. Yes, I'm hitting right on that, but it's not doing anything. It's it's uh it's wearing away the hammer stone more than it would wear away a piece of metal. I'm just giving you a comparison. I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm just giving you a comparison since a lot of you guys are working with metals because I've been working with metals a lot. Perhaps you've been following along with metals and now I switch over to using hammer stones. You're going, wait, wait, what's the difference and why are you doing that? Why you do that to me? I'm just starting out with metals and now you switch over. All your new videos are going to be with hammer stones, dude? What the hey? I just bought a bunch of metal. Well, I know it's boring, but you can go back and rewatch all the other metal videos. Listen to metal while I use metal, just like I do. I listen to rock while I use rock. I listen to metal when I use metal. There you go. All right. Yeah, I just zigzag the edge. No big deal. Using the more narrow part of the hammerstone, get in there to the Neanderthal platforms. Using the previous flex car, and you can create a previous flex car. Come on, I'm hitting it just right. What's wrong with you? I'm just gonna keep hitting it until it goes. Is that a good strategy? Probably not. There it goes, because it creates incipient cracks, and you get stuff that you don't want to chip away but you know what I don't care all right just use the platforms I was use a previous flex car as a platform make sure there's no delicate areas do the swiping thing when you're able to And when you get a perfect platform, make sure you crush it before you strike again. All right? What was that last part again? I didn't catch it. No, it's not a rule. Except with me, you know, I'll, I'll crush the perfect one and then move over where it's nasty and then I'll be able to get a good flake off the nasty. It's just the way it goes, dude. out it was a good flake they took that thinned it down but then I got a scoop out here uh, that's not that great really it, you know as I reduce it that scoop out I can eliminate it by eliminating the thick areas around the edges yeah Hammer stones are good for abrading as well as striking. I will give you that. And I can hit little bitty areas. Little bitty platforms and then hopefully take off some good flakes. This one just broke up a little bit. Come on. There you go. 
Oh well, there's a scoop out. Oh well, I can come in from another angle and shoot a flake. Shoot a flake right across it. But do I want to mess with it? Nope, I'm going to put this in the biface box. Natural tool biface box that I'm starting. And then we'll continue this some other day, some other way. All right. 